I just I thought um, I got into the art program by my drawings of hands, so why not leave the art program with the same way? That's okay, so what um, what medium did you use for your hands? I used plaster. How long did it take you to make them? About maybe like an hour each. An hour each? So your inspiration was basically just that you had gone into the program through your drawings of hand, so you thought you'd see it through? Right. That's, I switched over to 3D, so I thought a 3D presentation would be cool. I wanted to show how our hands have many meanings and have led to several important personal creations throughout history, from religion to creative and artistic depictions of our expressions. Hands are a body part that can be taken for granted and seen as only a body part and not what they can be used for. My sustained investigation shows a more in-depth version of how I see hands. I see more than just a body part, but as a creation of God that we can be used to show expressions, personal feelings, engineering, and creation, along with religious practices. Um, well, I did my project on how people harm the environment and how the environment harms um, people as well. Because um, I have a passion for like environmental science and marine science, and so I wanted to translate that into my artwork and showing that um, like we have caused the environmental harm, but it um, hits back once in a while, every once in a while, and I just wanted to um, illustrate that with my art this year. So, what um, kind of mediums did you use for your art? I used almost entirely digital art this year. Um, it, which is new for me. Before this year, I haven't. Uh, I've only like dabbled in digital art. But I experimented it with the beginning of the year, and I found that I really liked it, and it was a great way to communicate my message. So, reflecting on your artwork, how do you feel about it? Um, I am actually very proud of my work this year. Um, some of them more than others, but I think I put in a lot of hard work and I'm very proud of the result. Perfect. Anything else you want to say about your art? Um, I know, just that I had a great time doing it um, and I, it was a great experience. Um, my work was kind of done um, on like trying to get like more skill in anatomy and trying to understand like the structures and the functions of like down to like the basics before you can build up to like the movement and like the muscles and everything. Okay, so okay, so is that that was your inspiration behind your pieces? Mm -hmm. So some of your pieces are of animals. Was it a similar um, inspirational journey? Yeah, pretty much. It was pretty much the same thing. And then while I was working on it, I kind of encountered the issue of trying to make each piece like its own unique thing instead of just having it like repetitive, like study after study. So that was also like kind of a fun thing to do to try to like come up with like different like ways I could interpret it and everything. So what kind of different mediums did you use? Um, I used a lot of acrylic just because that was something that I was more like familiar in and um, I really like to be able to add layers mm -hmm. onto my work just as like a way to like add like depth and shading. And I know you also used digital art and some pencil drawings it looks like yeah um i did those because i did want to try to like branch out into other mediums and i also wanted to have like tr try to incorporate more of like looser like brush strokes and everything that's why i did it with the digital that way so i didn't have only like stiff like very strong like strokes just also try to incorporate like the the movement of it too so reflecting back on your artwork and your journey this year, um, how do you feel you've improved or how do you feel about the overall outcome? Um, I definitely feel like I improved from like the first piece to the last piece. Um, I also definitely have noticed like even outside of this investigation that my regular art has improved a lot with the general anatomy and like building of the structure of like people and animals and everything, which is something I used to struggle in. Um, it's just my like love for landscapes and how much, or I guess I'd say like positive energy you guys kind of, that everybody kind of gets from just kind of looking at them and being around out in nature. Okay, what different mediums did you use? I did soft pastels, I did acrylic paint, I did graphite, and then there is one picture in there that I did take.
Were specific locations the inspiration for some of your pieces? Um, they were kind of just all places that me or like me, my friends, or my family have been. So I just kind of been around a lot. Okay, so looking back on your work from this year, what are some of your personal reflections, positive or constructive? I mean, so some of them were kind of more, I guess, whenever you're kind of like in a bad mood or having a bad day and it just kind of helps you kind of get over that or get through your day and deal with all the issues that you have, may or may not have going on or stress that you could have in your life. Okay, is there anything else you kind of want to talk about or say about your portfolio? Uh, not really, other than like, Everything kind of just brings you that uplifting kind of feeling as soon as you get to express yourself, even if it's negative to positive or positive to negative feelings. That's about it. My inspiration was wholly animation based as I've always wanted to work on animations, work in a studio. So my whole focus this year was to work on backgrounds, characters, props, and the likes of that anything involving animation in hopes that I can improve in that division and hopefully get good enough to land a career in animation. So you only did exclusively animation as far as media goes this year, right? Yeah, as far as media, I did animation. I did have Miss Hilgert, so I did do some personal artworks such as Celtic designs, and but Miss Hilgert usually had us focus on animation-based stuff, backgrounds, the likes of that for our class. Okay, so thinking about your work, like from a reflective point of view, how do you feel it turned out? And do you have any like positive or critiques you'd like to offer? Yes. I feel like this year I've improved a lot. Like looking past my previous years, I knew nothing about animation and I was so lucky to land a class with Miss Rat. And this year I learned so much about movement, posing, how to use the program and I feel like this improved my personal art as well. So I think this year, it was definitely my best year. Perfect, okay, do you have anything else you'd like to kind of say about your portfolio this year or about LSA in general or anything? Um, I still say that it's been really fun being in LSA. I love it, I love the teachers. They're all so nice and helpful. And I feel like if I wasn't in LSA, I definitely would have had a much harder time getting improving and all that. So thank you, LSA. What inspired my work was the future because I want to be an animator and I wanted to practice very much and in all of my pieces everyone is moving forward which is what I'm hoping to do with my animation career is move forward, get better and become an animator of my own show one day. So is this the first year you've done animation or is this a continuation? This is a continuation of last year's animation class, which was cut short, sadly, because of COVID. But I do feel like I did pretty good considering where I picked up from last year. So what um, piece of artwork are you um, most proud of? I think I'm most proud of my squash and stretch practice that I did with my little robot character of jumping. But other than that, I, I'm really proud of my storyboards. I really like storyboarding. So thinking back on your work as a like reflection, um, how do you feel that you did and what like positive critiques could you get for yourself? I think I did pretty good with getting some basic key frames down. Um, I do think I could have made it a little more fluid, but so far, so good. Perfect, okay, so is there anything else you wanna talk about about your portfolio or about LSA? I think LSA has been very good for me and has expanded a lot since I joined. Um, they didn't have an animation class when I was a freshman, but if they did, I definitely would have joined. And it's just been a pleasure to be a part of one of the first animation classes in LSA history. Okay, so what was your inspiration for your artwork this year? Um, me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so your artwork is all pictures of you, right? So they're all self-portraits. So why did you pursue that instead of going a different route? Because it was easy. Okay, so what mediums did you use for your artwork? Digital. What does that mean? What does it mean to use digital art? Oh, it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why did you join LSA to begin with? Uh, because I wanted to get better at drawing. 
So how have you felt that you've progressed since freshman year? Um, that I did. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't write it to like the end of the year. Um, and it's just how my art progressed like throughout like the stages of like my mental health and like the parts of my life or whatever that was changing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so um, looking at your work now, how can you reflect back on the work you've put in and give some positive critiques for yourself? I don't know. I think it's pretty good. Okay, why do you think it's pretty good? What does that mean? Because it like, like actually reflected like the times in my life, I guess, yeah. So my work was inspired by reference photos that I took myself. Um, I wanted to be able to incorporate a lot of themes from my own life, so I used it my pictures and I just did them in a bunch of different forms that way I could see them displayed. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so why did you kind of go this route instead of going a different? Um, I went with this theme because it's very broad and I wanted to be able to incorporate a lot of different things and I wanted to be able to, I don't know, display a bunch of different aspects of my own life because it's all about perception and there are a lot of things that we perceive in life. <laughs> so what different mediums did you use? Um, I did a few digital but most of them are either acrylic or oil paint. Um, I like just got into oil paint when I was doing this so there's a lot of rough oil painted ones <laughs> but most of them are acrylic or oil, yeah or in some digital. <laughs> okay so thinking back on your work from start to finish um, do you have any like positive critiques for yourself or any kind of reflectory thoughts? Um, yeah I think that I definitely do. I know that one of them I started like a year ago and I just finished it as part of my portfolio so I think that you can really tell the growth in that one because it's a lot it's a lot worse than the rest <laughs> except for all the additions that I made you know. Um, but no I think that my figure drawing has gotten a lot better in it so there's a lot of figures, <laughs> but I just think that I've improved quite a bit in this program. <laughs> so do you have any final thoughts about your portfolio or about LSA in general? Um, I love LSA. Um, I love how portfolio turned out and everybody else has turned out so good as well. I, I don't know, I'm very proud of everything that we've done this year, the last four years. Um, it was more so trying to go in uh, history is basically what inspired my work. I really like history um, and I like learning about history and different cultures so I wanted to use art as a way to explore history and cultures by kind of appropriating. It's kind of a messy bad word but that's basically what I did was kind of taking uh, things from other cultures and learning about it and trying to replicate it. So that's what I was trying to do. It's kind of what inspired me. So why did you go that route versus another way with your portfolio? Uh, I chose this way because last year I did something very personal where I kind of was like, oh, this is this thing, this artwork makes me feel angry, and this one makes me, this one's about my allergies, and I, that was like, my experience with that wasn't that good. I really didn't cling, you know, it wasn't mm -hmm. me. So I wanted to go for something more of like a story. My whole, it's like history, but the whole thing is a narrative. So I wanted to focus on the narrative but I wanted to add the, the cultural history sort of thing to it. So cool. that's what made me kind of pick this versus like feely, this is just what it is. Gotcha, so what kind of mediums did you use throughout your pieces? A lot of it is like, um, surprisingly, I didn't realize how much I use colored pencil because I'm not a big fan of colored pencil, but when the going gets tough, um, like well, colored pencil will do the job. I'm not a big fan of painting, but I did do it for one of them, which is not up. Um, I use a lot of marker, that's one I use a lot, was a marker and like just pen, just sketching them I like a lot. Uh, I used some digital, but it was mostly like traditional, that's what I did, mostly traditional. Um, so thinking back on your pieces and from where you came to, like where you started and where you are now, like do you have any kind of like positive critiques you'd give yourself or do you see a lot of change in your artwork? Uh, definitely some critiques. Uh, I procrastinated a whole lot with some of them, but not like, it wasn't like a procrastinate where I'm like, I don't want to do that, I don't feel like it. It was more so like a, this one, I, I don't want to do this one because I, I know I'm not going to like it anymore. And I had to stop that where I, I kind of like cut a project off way too early because after doing them, I realized that I, I actually do like that. I did like how it turned out, but I wish I had more time because I ended up procrastinating to the point where I didn't have enough time to make it better than it could have been. So I think that was my problem and the thing that I, I could have changed. So do you have any final words about your pieces or anything you'd like to say about LSA in general? Um, my pieces this year, it was fun doing a lot of them. 
Um, but at the same time, towards the end, stressful because of my procrastination. And then about LSA, lovely experience. I love LSA, and I'm definitely going to miss it. That's for sure. I hope to have something like that here at CF. Uh, I'm going to miss uh, Miss Spratt, Miss Hilliger, Mr. Brown a lot. Uh, it's pretty much about nightmares. You know, the ones that occurred in my life a lot, and I tried to resolve them through art. Bring out the emotions in them so that they're not in me anymore. Okay. And what medium did you use? How did you make these? Primarily uh, acrylics, because that's what I'm trying to experiment with. I find that I'm pretty good at it, and getting better at it at least. Uh, others include pastels or markers, and that's pretty much it. Okay. And why why did you choose to, to focus on this subject? Um, psychology is a really fascinating subject to me about yeah. the, the mind and how it works and all that stuff. And when it comes to dreams, that's something I was highly fascinated with. What are they? Why do they appear? What determines what happens in your dream? And um, so nightmares struck me as odd. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick that. Yeah. Pick that topic. Very nice. Anything else you would like to share? Um, I did good. Yeah, I think you did. I did better than last year. Yeah. 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 How do you feel about it? Did you do you feel like it, so you think it was pretty successful? Are you happy with it? In the middle of the year, I like was changing up the perspective of the um, the portfolio, like what the true question was, rather than sticking with one thing and then I settled on this. I think originally started off like, how can you portray fears and emotions inside of a piece of artwork? Not just the normal ones, but like the ones like fear, uh, anger, hostility, rather than the cheer or joy, happiness that a lot of them make you feel. Yeah. Some of them uh, regard disgust, like that one. If you saw that thing, you wouldn't be too happy, so. Yeah. Hi, my name is Kelly Strong. This is my portfolio. I don't know how else to say it. Um, Perfect. So Kelly, what is your portfolio about? Um, it's about my relationship with Catholicism and how it's like affected me and shaped me to be the person who I am now. How did you make these? Uh, it's some different media. Most of it is uh, acrylic paints because that's like what I like to use the most. Um, I specifically have, like, I have some watercolor pieces because I like that they're really fluid, but also, like, will directly relate back to, like, the um, sacrament of baptism. And then I also have some, like, darker colors that I can accomplish with graphite. Um, I like experimenting with, like, the mixed media over here. Um, I think it just makes, like, a really, like, good, because I really like, like, emotional pieces. It feels, like, really overwhelming to me, and I really like to convey that. Um, and then I have like, like these are all pretty much acrylic over here. And this one I had with like paint pens and I really like how they make like really like stark lines. It like feels very like confined, but also I just like the shapes like versus like the geometric versus organic shapes. Nice. And Kelly, why did you choose, you know, what, why did you choose this subject matter? What, why did you make these? Um, it's a very like personal uh, thing to me. It was kind of a struggle at a point in my life that I'm happy to be back from now. But it like it's I like I said I really like um, sorry I really like like the like emotional thought behind artwork and I like trying to figure out how to convey that and how to express myself like better each through each piece. I think you can really see that versus my first one. This is one of my most recent ones. I think you can really tell the difference and like the maturity throughout the. Um, I made different stuff like bouncing practices and like animatics. And I also made like character design sheets, which are character references for like animation and all that. And you know, that kind of thing. And I made it like sort of a pro and harmony. Yeah. Tell, tell me about, um, I know you really liked making characters, so there was there a specific character that you made that you had a backstory on? Um, yeah, actually, my character design, that was from this semester. Um, it was supposed to be like a Coraline-inspired and like actually Spirited Away-inspired kind mm -hmm. of thing because we were watching that movie while I was making it. So it made me think of like a child, if anything, like a very innocent kind of 
you know, creative kind of way of going about things. Like an adventure, basically. Yeah. Nice. And um, what do you what are your thoughts about your work? So do you feel like it's it, it was successful overall? What was what's your reflection? I guess what kind of things did you learn? I think it was really successful. Um, I think that making this kind of work helped me reflect a lot on how I design things and how I do things and like how I think about my thought process of actually going through and doing things. It made me reevaluate a lot of the way that I do things because before I would probably just jump into it blindly, but now I know that I actually have to plan it. So, uh, My work is about prehistoric animals and like you know, like how they acted or like what they lived with and, you know, like what they looked like and stuff to like the best accuracy that I could portray them in. Yeah, and what material did you use? How did you make these? What was your process? Uh, most of these were made with Prismacolor pencils, but some of them I used like watercolor or uh, markers like for this one. Nice. And what, what was your inspiration for your work? My inspiration was um, like the Jurassic Park franchise and stuff and how like prehistoric animals are like depicted in popular media and it kind of inspired me to look into what these animals may have actually looked like or how they actually acted and stuff. Nice. And looking back at uh, your body of work, what were some things that you feel like worked really well? Um, and what were some things maybe that you learned along the way? Can you explain that? So, so, so I guess some things that worked well is what, what do you think, what do you think was successful in your work that you feel like was definitely a strength? I feel like the line work was a bit of a strength, like, cause I never really drawn dinosaurs and like other animals, like prehistoric animals too much before. So. It was kind of like experimental with like what they looked like and stuff. So I feel like I did like pretty like strongly on that. Yeah. It's about love and how people understand it and what things they use to make assumptions about it when they see it. And tell me, how, how did you make your work? Maybe what materials you used or what processes? Well, because love is so complicated and there's so many different forms, I experimented with a different medium for each work. I also made a lot of different decisions with my line making and uh, different methods of shading. And why did you choose, you know, what, what is, do you have some personal meaning or uh, why did you choose this this particular area? Love has been a big part of my life, and I always feel as if I'm focused on it and don't quite understand it. So I chose this topic to see if I could better understand it through making pictures of it, making inquiries about it. Very nice. So what do you think? What are your what are your thoughts about, you know, what what do you how did you grow throughout this? Or maybe some of your strengths. I really noticed that I had a hard time representing what I felt and what I thought love and heartbreak and different types of love felt like. And I think I've grown a lot in really making art that evokes emotion. Mm-hmm. And maybe I have grown in my technical skill because I've used so many different media that I've been able to figure out different things about them. All right. Is there anything else you want to share about your work? It's been a journey. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm really happy with the way it turned out and how there's a overarching meaning to it. Very nice. Thank you, Julia. I think that's all. I think that's it.